Welcome back. Last week, we rolled into the beautiful state of Texas, took care of chores, and found a peaceful place to boondock and enjoy another beautiful sunset in the lower 48. We are Jim, Ember, and Cynthia. And for the past two years, we've been exploring Alaska in our Winnebago Revel Sprinter 4x4, pushing ourselves and our van to take us to the most breathtaking boondocking locations we can find. All the while, having as much fun and adventure as we can find along the way. From minus 27 degree temperatures when we left our beautiful state of Alaska, through Canada, Washington, Oregon, California, Arizona, New Mexico, and now, Texas. Today, we're all cleaned up and ready to explore the city of San Antonio. After the Alamo and an amazing dinner in the Pearl District, we reveal to you why we left Alaska and where we're going from here. Here we are, the place that we've been just waiting to tell you that we were so excited to come to. Texas, San Antonio, Texas the second largest state in the United States. And for the next six months, we're gonna be exploring the entire state and showing you the most remote locations that we can find. But today, we came down to the Riverwalk to check out actual San Antonio and see what it's like. We're gonna have breakfast, lunch, and dinner here, and then we'll tell you exactly why we're here. We're here on the river walk at the Republic of Texas restaurant. We went with chicken fried steak and loaded mashed potatoes and I'm starving so let's eat. The country fried steak was delicious and I'm very glad that we shared it because it was huge and it's still only around 11 o'clock starting to sprinkle a little bit, which is nice because it's keeping it cool. And I think, where are we headed next? I think we're gonna go to the Alamo and do some exploring so that we can work up another appetite. And go eat our way around the river walk. We're hanging out with the ducks. They keep coming up and saying hi, and it's really nice. Well, let's go check out the Alamo. Exploring the Alamo was at the top of our list of things to do in Texas. Keep in mind, we don't spend a lot of time in crowds, and each time we set out to explore around people, we have to ease ourselves into it. The Alamo offers a variety of tour options to choose from, and we chose the audio tour to freely walk around, learn, and listen to history. However, Jim and I got so caught up in what we could see, we found ourselves getting distracted and wandering around doing our own thing 
and we completely lost track of time. My favorite part was the museum, established by the Daughters of the Republic. Looking at each piece and visualizing it in action, creating little movies in my head, not just seeing the artifacts behind glass, seeing a glimpse into what life was like in the 1800s, right here. The signs were an informative reminder of our middle school history class, and the exhibits were genuinely my favorite part. Jim and I walked around the gardens for a while and contemplated touring the chapel. The Alamo had a lot to offer in terms of exploration and things to do. And before leaving, we took in the 17-minute movie covering 300 years of Alamo history. And then we cruised through the statues of heroes before heading back to the river walk in our van to check on Ember. Well, what'd you think? So we're here in the Alamo, it's kind of crowded but a lot of history and it was cool to read all the signage and learn about what happened here in the 1800s. We walked up to the van and I saw this big puddle back here I was like, oh no, we got something leaking, but it's just our air conditioner. We have it running for Ember. We've had it going for about two hours now and everything's going good. We've actually had it going for four hours now. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. I checked the battery while we were in there. It says 60%. Nice. Yeah, it's 145 in the afternoon and 91 degrees. Let's keep going. The AC's working good. Although we now have the ability to run air conditioning without being plugged into shore power with our Rome Rig Lithium power system, we are missing one thing, and that is a way to monitor Ember in the van. And if you've been following along for a while, you know that we explore in all conditions, and Ember is always with us. We're working on a solution for that, which we will review and share in a future video. But on days like today where we can't take Ember with us, we keep circling back to her to check even with air conditioning, ventilation, and water. Jim and I continued on to find more things to interest us along the Riverwalk, and there is certainly something here for everyone. We recommend a Riverwalk boat tour to listen to the history and see the architecture from a historical and commercial perspective. Drive down, drive down the river, do my thing. 
Never been here, but we go to these in every city that has them. So we're gonna check out Coyote Ugly. So Coyote Ugly was fun, but it seems like the city is just now coming to life. We're gonna go check on Ember, take her for a walk. And then maybe check out this whiskey distillery behind us because that looks like they're having a blast. I got my eye on that. And check out sanantonioriverwalk.com if you're planning a visit. Their website is highly informative regarding the history of the Riverwalk and how it came about despite wars and floods. And the Riverwalk remains a must-see in the heart of San Antonio. We've had the AC running for seven hours. We're down to 19%. That's a pretty good test. After walking around and enjoying the change of pace for much longer than we anticipated, it was time to make one last stop, three miles up the river walk to a place recommended by one of our subscribers, the Pearl, a stop that we were grateful to have taken. We're now in the Pearl district and our friend and subscriber Ken told us to come here and check out the breweries. Parking is free. And we were asked if we can actually fit into the parking spots in the city. I'd say we fit. <laughs> it's about 5.30. We should probably get some dinner, but we're going to go check out these breweries. After walking around and trying to figure out which one we wanted to check out, we're going to go with Boiler House, Texas Grill, and Wine Garden. Everything on the menu sounded amazing, and Jim ordered the cinder cut filet, and I went with a tarragon chicken melt, and our bellies were happy. After that amazing meal, it was time to do what we do best, walk and explore. The Pearl is dog friendly and Ember did her best to figure out what was going on with all these new smells, noises, and people. 
she's still getting used to the people thing. All the while the Riverwalk has so much history and atmosphere to offer, the Pearl offers some of the hottest restaurants in town with the Culinary Institute of America being on site, and of course a rich history involving prohibition, commercial development, and a refreshing break from the commercialized feel of the Riverwalk. And now, the little secret that we've been sitting on for quite some time now, waiting for the right time to tell you as we processed these new changes in our lives. And new location. Throughout this past year, you've seen videos on hard decisions and changes that we've been making in our personal and professional lives. And those decisions have really been difficult. And really, the cars just sort of fell into place to bring us down here to Texas. And as you know, Cynthia has been on furlough for almost a year now. And I had some opportunities to continue to develop myself. We both love dogs a lot. I work with dogs all the time. And I had an opportunity to come down here and train dogs. So for the last couple months, we've been doing just that. We've been continuing our professional development. I've been meeting with trainers and handlers all over the country and really just enjoying our time working with dogs. We are so excited to explore Texas. There's so much to do here. We're going to do our best to take you to all the coolest spots, all the best boondocking locations, doing the stuff that we can't do in Alaska and taking you with us. There's been a question that many of you have brought up over the past month or so, and that's whether or not we're going back to Alaska. And we don't want to let any of you down because we're just going to be straight up. We are. This is a temporary situation. We're going to enjoy every second of it while we're here. We're going to enjoy our time while we're here and have you along with us. I think one of the biggest challenges that we've already faced and that we're learning about is what is known as BLM land. Uh, throughout a lot of the Western United States, they don't have that here. So we're taking on that challenge as well as taking you, continuing those remote backcountry adventures here in Texas while not navigating through BLM land, but figuring out other ways to do it. So there's two apps that we really do rely on, actually three apps that we rely on to help us find the best places to explore, and that is iOverlander, Onyx Hunt for hikes and Onyx Off-Road for backcountry roads. So we'll see what we can find and what we can show you and see how we're going to enjoy this wonderful Texas heat. <laughs> this is going to be quite the challenge and we'll talk to you about that along the way. All the challenges that we face, this heat, the bugs, snakes, change of weather, storms, I mean San Antonio is where we're going to be, and we're going to explore that and then everything that we can find. So I'm excited. And then from Texas, we're going to head east, so we're going to continue to head east, and then we're going to turn around and do a loop and go back to California, and then from California, we're going to the Rebel Rally in Colorado. So that's our plan for the next few months. And we don't have everything mapped out yet. We can't tell you the exact routes that we're going to be on, because like most things, we're going to play it by ear and make decisions as we go. And lastly, we've been considering doing a van meetup excursion in Alaska for the summer of 2022. If that's something that you might be interested in, let us know in the comments down below. And if there's enough demand, we may do multiple meetups. I think that would be a ton of fun. I think so too. I know a lot of you have expressed interest in coming to Alaska. So we would love to meet you. We would love to take you to somewhere like maybe up the Dalton Highway or maybe to McCarthy. Who knows? We've just been tossing the idea around. We have plenty of time to put together a complete itinerary, but we want to base it on the demand out there. Let us know. We hope you enjoyed our little excursion into San Antonio. We had a lot of fun. Many of you may be wondering what we're doing next and the best way to find out is to hit that subscribe button follow along. We will be exploring Texas for a little while, but then we're moving on. We're taking an interesting way back to Alaska. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And stay safe.
We'll see you again soon. And for those of you who are wondering how Ember is handling this change, this is what she has to say.